In this quick video, I'm just gonna tell you the difference between a brand, distributors, and wholesalers so that you know when you're buying products in Amazon Wholesale what you're looking for. Stay tuned. So one thing that people get confused in a lot with Amazon Wholesale is some of the terminology. And one of that is when you're buying products, who are you actually buying from? For me, some of the different people or types of businesses that you can buy from is the brand slash supplier, a distributor, and a wholesaler. Now, wholesaler is not to be confused with like you and I as Amazon wholesalers, as we call ourselves. We're really more B2C, business to consumer. So we're buying products and selling it to a consumer. The wholesalers that I'm gonna talk about here are gonna be B2B, business to business, buying from business, selling to business like us. So. Number one, let's start with the brand. So a lot of times in wholesale, Amazon wholesale, we talk about the brand and the supplier. Those words are kind of interchangeable for the most part when we're talking about brands and suppliers and Amazon wholesalers. So what a brand is, is you're buying direct from the company that created the product or made the product. Not to be confused with the manufacturer. So a company like Nike created Nike shoes and they have a manufacturer wherever making those shoes for them. So we're not talking about the manufacturer. The brand is the company that owns the products, owns the trademarks, owns the rights to that name. So like for Nike, if we stick with that, Nike is the brand or the supplier. And if you're opening up an accounts directly with the brand, then that's what we're talking about, buying directly from the brand and the supplier. And in that case, you're gonna be focusing on building that relationship and talking about how you can improve their brand, improve their sales, improve their listings and things like that. All right, so that is the brand and supplier. Next that we're gonna talk about is the distributors. Now, distributors are going to be companies that typically sell lots of different brands, and they have a direct relationship with those brands. So they have a direct relationship with the brands and they wanna keep the brands happy, and these are what we call authorized distributors. So they're companies that are authorized by the brands to sell their products to other people. And they're gonna carry lots of different brands. You have the opportunity to buy from lots of different brands through the distributors, and it's a really big opportunity that a lot of people miss in Amazon Wholesale. A lot of times, a lot of people go directly for the brands, which is good, that's a good tactic, but a lot of times you can get products easier through distributors and sometimes even better pricing from a distributor because they're buying from these brands in such big bulk. So keep that in mind, the difference between distributor and a brand, the brand owns the products, they've made the products. The distributor is buying products directly from the brands, they have a relationship with the brands but are gonna carry lots of different brands. Now, the third one that I wanna talk about are wholesalers. So the business to business wholesalers. Wholesalers are similar to distributors and a lot of people confuse wholesalers with distributors, but the main difference is a wholesaler does not have typically a direct relationship with the brand. So they are usually gonna be buying their products either from closeouts, maybe a brand is trying to get rid of products so the wholesalers are buying them, or maybe a store is closing and the wholesaler is buying all that product. Maybe it's customer returns that they're buying from stores and then they're selling that product to you and I or whoever wants to sell that product somewhere else. So the key difference there, as I mentioned, is they don't have a relationship with the brands directly. And if you ever need to get ungated on Amazon, so get a category or a brand unlocked, or perhaps you get something like a trademark violation or some kind of warning from Amazon, 
Amazon is not going to accept the invoices from a wholesaler typically because they don't have a direct relationship. They don't have a direct chain from themselves back to the brand to prove that those products are legitimate like a distributor does or buying direct from the brand. Of course, then of course you'd have the proof that you bought legitimate product. So wholesale can be a good opportunity. It's not an area that I would go buying wholesale in the beginning because there's more risk to it. You can make a lot of money doing it. There's people who make good money, but just keep those differences in mind between a brand distributor and a wholesaler. When you're just starting out, you definitely want to stay with the brands and the distributors. Those two routes are going to be the safest for you and it's going to give you the path that Amazon wants if they need to you to prove that you bought legitimate products or if you need to get ungated in a category or a brand or something like that. So brands, they are the owners of the products. Distributors have a direct relationship with the brands and are gonna have lots of brands that they carry. Wholesalers are not gonna have that direct relationship with the brands and are typically buying closeouts, store closings, and things of that nature. So that is one place that I see a lot of people get confused. So hopefully that helps you out there. Now make sure you head over to entrepreneuradventure.com grab the templates that I give you for contacting these brands and distributors, and I have lots of other good information to help you move your business forward, get your business going. And if you need a coaching call, if you need one-on-one -on -one help, I do that as well over there at entrepreneuradventure.com. Check that out. So with that, this is Todd Welch with Entrepreneur Adventure signing off. Happy selling, everybody.